Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. We have a lot of Atlanta news. First things first, we got to talk about y'all's fave, Miss Portia Williams. She made it to USA Today's national bestsellers list. Who you know? I'll wait. Okay, I'll wait. We're just going to sit here and have a moment of silence. I will wait. Now, a lot of y'all tried to take that number and shade the girl talking about something. It's only 141. First off, have you ever wrote a book? Okay, have you ever been an author? Have you ever made it to USA Today's list? Do you know how many books come out and don't even make it to 150? I mean, I'm just saying. So, like, where's the shade? Okay, that's like saying, uh, telling a new artist that their debut album is number 141 out of 200 albums on Billboard. Okay, first off, as a first-time freaking artist, that is amazing. Y'all need to stop hating, okay? And I'm still waiting. Who do you know on the Atlanta roster? Maybe Lanethia, but I'm not sure. I got to look up the numbers. Uh, did Sheree ever make the list with the Hood Wives of Atlanta? I mean, I'm just saying... I wanted to very quickly uh, read this caption from Simon Gobadia's page uh, because it was extremely sweet. He said, babe, that would be at Portia for real. Just made the national bestseller list in her very first published work. Babe came in hot. I am extremely proud of this black woman who made this incredible sacrifice of sharing her pain to help others avoid mistakes. Many are too afraid to speak out on. Join me in congratulating and putting some respect on the name of my future wife and mother to my future kids. Now, shout out to Simon Gobadia for being a very supportive, uh, you know, fiance. However, he says, shout out to the future mother of my future kids, which is quite interesting because I could have sworn that Fallon told us on Tisa Tales, okay, um, that... Simon could not have kids, okay? His sperms weren't swimming. Now, Fallon is known to tell some tales, okay? Um, Fallon isn't the most honest, incredible source uh, because we've caught her in multiple lies, okay? We love to say, oh, Portia's a liar and Portia's wrong and Portia's this. Um, what's her name? Fallon is a liar, okay? Fallon is incredible, Fallon tells some tales, okay? I mean, I'm just saying. Well, how uh, Mama Gina say, what's good for the geese or is it goose? Is it goose or the geese? It's good for the gander, okay? And she did the hands like this. Um, but no, yeah, Fallon is known to be a liar from time to time. But um, I kind of believe her when, you know, she said that, you know, Simon was having trouble with his swimmers, okay? Because we know that Simon probably doesn't have the healthy lifestyle with the, you know, heavy drinking and the cigar use and the hookah. Maybe he has a lack of sleep. Maybe there's a lot of stress due to his job trying to keep up this image because allegedly he's not worth the $40 million that's on Google, even though I believe he reposted an article that regurgitated that uh, claim. I mean, I'm just saying, okay, so we going off on a tangent. But according to Fallon, uh, the man can't have kids. So I don't know, maybe if he's cleaned up his lifestyle, we do see him all over Instagram trying to eat healthy, right? So uh, maybe things have changed, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the situation. At the end of the day, I am still waiting on who you know made the USA Today's best seller list. Stop hating on my girl. Stop sleeping on my girl. Y'all gonna learn to uh, keep your mouth shut, okay? If you don't have nothing nice to say, then just bring it on down in the words of Candy Bar Sucker. Okay, moving right along. Speaking of Portia, Portia, Portia. Remember a couple of nights ago on uh, Portia's Family Matters when the group went to Mexico, okay? Because it got real messy real quick. But the mess actually started way before that fight at the dinner. And I didn't want to bring this up, okay? I was cringing when I was watching it, but I was trying to pretend like it didn't happen because I'm not trying to run Portia's family all the way down to the ground on this little TV show. But you guys, remember when Dennis and Lauren and Londi were looking at their room and they found out that they had like a rooftop pool situation going on? And Dennis and Lauren went up there and Dennis proceeded to take off his clothes Okay, and I had two thoughts about that. At first, I was like, okay, first off, why are you taking off your clothes in front of Lauren, your baby mama's sister? Okay, 
And secondly, okay, my second thought was, yes, I'm here for this. Okay, take it off because y'all know how I feel about Dennis. His thing was definitely thinking. I mean, I'm just saying. But um, not only were you getting naked in front of your baby mother's sister, uh, but you picked her up. Okay, you had one hand by her back and then you had the other hand by the buttocks. And then you proceeded to throw Lauren in the pool. And it reminded me of that situation where Apollo got half naked and threw Kenya more hair care in the pool being, all, you know, being all flirtatious and whatnot. So my whole thing about the situation is, do y'all think Dennis and Lauren got something going on? Okay, now what the hell is going on? So... I'm going to go ahead and play the clip and then y'all will be the judge of the situation. Check it out. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. Oh. Dennis. Oh my God. Dennis. Oh. What y'all think? Okay. I was looking at that uh, clip like, uh, Portia, get your baby daddy. Okay. Get your sister. Now it could be innocent. And deep down in my gut, I feel like Lauren and Dennis don't really have anything going on. But they've been very close and cozy and sneaky throughout this whole entire three episode stint. And I'm just confused at the situation. Lauren, sis, back away. Okay, I don't even know why you would want a room with the baby daddy in the first place. Okay, you obviously or allegedly wanted to keep an eye on him. But I think you mean that in more uh, ways than one. I mean, I'm just saying, and I don't blame you, girl. Okay, Dennis is fine. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I would want to keep an eye on him too, but wrong road, sis. Okay, he done already flirted with, uh, what's her name? Storm. Okay, he done flirted with Storm. Then he then had a baby with uh Portia, and now he moving on to half-sister Lauren. What's going on here? Okay, so y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. Moving right along, uh, speaking of the Atlanta girls, Beyonce. Okay, Beyonce then gave Lanethia Leaks a birthday shout out. I'll go ahead and put up the screenshot. You guys, is this not the sweetest thing ever? Okay, this is a queen recognizing another queen on a queen's birthday. And I absolutely love to see it. So shout out to Lanethia Leaks. I don't know how old she is. Let's look it up. Okay, let's look. Nini Leaks age. Okay, let's see, let's see. It says, Lanithia Monique Nini Leakes is an American television personality, actress, presenter, businesswoman, author, and fashion designer. Ooh. Born December 13th, 1967, age 54 years old. That's a blessing, okay? That is such a blessing. So shout out to Lanithia. It's her birthday. Well, yesterday was her birthday, but happy belated birthday to uh, Nini. Okay. Moving on from that, last but not least of the ROA news, of course, I wanted to put up this screenshot from the Peach Report Daily. They're basically saying that ROA is going to wrap in January or February, all right? And so I'm super excited about the situation. Y'all, surprisingly, well, not so surprisingly because we know, uh, you know, these Potomac producers wanted to keep everything a secret this year. But um, I'm surprised we have not received more leaks, right? We do know that Kenya is having problems with Marlo. We know that Kenya is having problems with Sheree. We know that Drew is trying to, I guess, befriend Kenya. We know that Candy is staying in the middle like always. And I'm kind of disappointed in the situation because I thought Candy would come in hot. Uh, but you know what? I kind of think it's going to be Candy's last season. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, who else? Sonia Richards Ross was nice until she wasn't. And that's pretty much all that we know. Okay, no word on any cast trips. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging. I'm gonna have to talk to the sources. I'm gonna have to go to the blogs, chow. Um, but I'm surprised we haven't heard more. So apparently filming is going to wrap at the beginning of 2022. All right. So let me know if you guys are excited about that in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log off. I will be back a little bit later today. I love you guys. And don't forget to create a great day.